Larry Anglisano reporting for AbWeb, an aviation consumer here at the NBAA convention, Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, Pilatus has earned sizable respect for its PC-12 single-engine turboprop, and now at the show it's introduced a third generation of the PC-12. They call it the PC-12 NGX. Tell us more about this airplane. Here's Pilatus' Tom Aniello. Uh, last night, uh, Pilatus, uh, we rolled out the brand new PC-12 NGX. It's actually the third generation of the PC-12 after more than 1,700 have been delivered over the past 25 years. This is actually the most major in change that we've made with the aircraft. It's everything from the propeller to the engine to the cockpit to the cabin. Starting at the engine, it's the new Pratt & Whitney PT-6 E-Series, E being its electronically controlled propeller and engine, and that's linked also to an auto throttle and the autopilot. Uh, the, air, uh, the engine itself produces 10% more horsepower, so we have 1,100 shaft horsepower in cruise, which brings our speed up to 290 knots for the PC-12 NGX. In the cockpit, we've implemented a single uh, lever power control, so there are no uh, other condition levers. It's real simplified operation, and again, there is an auto throttle for that. And now we have a touchscreen controller that's part of the, uh, the uh, avionics package as well. A couple new safety features. There's an emergency descent mode uh, with the uh, autopilot. And also there's a roll protection mode that keeps you from overbanking in case you're in a, in a scenario in an uh, airport environment and not necessarily paying attention to, to where you are. The biggest change too though is a complete redesign to the cabin. So we took a lot of cues from the PC-24 super versatile jet. We increased the size of the cabin windows by 10%, brings in a lot more light, gives you some better viewing angles for the passengers. All new seats from the PC-24, fully berthing, reclining, new sidewalls, new air distribution system, and we've made it quieter through use of the electronic propeller and engine control system. So you can actually run the propeller at a reduced RPM mode. The engine still provides the same amount of torque, but it really lowers the sound level in the cabin and then also in overflight, so if you're in a noise sensitive area. So it's really a big package, even though we've added an X on the end, it's a lot bigger than uh, a lot of people perceive. So the avionics in the PC-12 NGX are the advanced cockpit environment from the PC-24. Uh, we took all of our experience uh, with that airframe, what we know about training uh, pilots for the military, what we know about uh, single pilot operations in the PC-12. They'll be very familiar to people who are flying the PC-12NG, uh, but has some added enhancements to it. Uh, crisper displays, more colorful displays, more safety features that are now available that we include as standard in the aircraft, like roll uh, mode protection, emergency descent mode. We now have a, a fully coupled digital autopilot, things that really reduce pilot workload in this airplane, even above uh, that in the NG. So we do get a lot of owner pilots that are coming up from uh, avionics and, and other types of airplanes. A lot of times there can be an intimidation factor about learning something new. Typically what we tell people is spend an hour in the airplane. You'll realize that this really has kind of that big iron airline level capability, but it's really been tailored to single pilot operations. It's not hard, it's just different. Once you learn it, you really appreciate uh, the level of professionalism that, that's in the system. Now, a lot of people would look at this and say it's a lot of small pieces, and uh, we like to say that it's uh, the sum uh, or the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. The last month we had our global sales force in Switzerland to get a preview of the aircraft, and uh, after a day long of presentations, we flew 50 different uh, individuals in one afternoon, and the takeaway was it all comes together and it really feels like it's very closely related to the PC-24, but in a single engine turboprop aircraft. So we're excited, the engine, uh, we've reduced operating costs on the airplane, the engine TBO is 5,000 hours now. Uh, there's no hot section inspection, it's all on condition. We've uh, increased the maintenance intervals on the airplane uh, we've to 600 hours, uh, so with really some nice features across the board to really make this a nice, a nice upgrade package for anybody in a PC-12, anybody uh, in light jets or, or even smaller uh, owner-flown turboprops. So we've actually been uh, quietly flying and developing the PC-12 NGX for a little over two years. And uh, we were trying to keep it secret and bringing here to the show. I think we were successful. Uh, what we have not announced publicly yet is it actually received its EASA and FAA certification last week before the show. So we'll, uh, we'll start deliveries of the new airplane uh, in April timeframe of 2020. 
and uh, typically equipped price for a fully loaded executive version is about five million three hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars and uh, contact your nearest uh, Pilatus dealer Pilatus Center go to Pilatus-aircraft.com and learn more details about the airplane we hope everybody gets a chance to come out and take a look at it once you sit in it, once you fly in it, you really understand that this really is the, the, the most advanced single engine turboprop on the market.